Hello, welcome to MQ Julie's Kitchen. Thank you. Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's been so long without uploading my videos. I'm very sorry about that. I've been having tight schedule, but uh, I'll be doing videos each and every week. That one, I promise. Today we are going to do a very simple recipe. I want us to do a baked chicken. It's a very, very simple recipe that you can be able to try at your home. And uh, the ingredients are all over around your stores. And uh, today I have uh, my ginger. I have grinded it. This is ginger. And then this is my garlic. I've also grinded it. I have soy sauce, I have cumin, I have black pepper to bring a very nice taste in it. I also have paprika, I have coriander, salt with my chicken. This is a whole chicken and with the ingredients are on the ingredient measurement you can be able to put any measurements that uh, you are comfortable with it because it's you who's going to eat it just put uh, the measurement that you want if you like uh, black pepper you can be able to put any measurement that you want I'll start with my okay I'll start with my ginger I'll put my ginger it has no, you can be able to put anything, you can be able to start with anything. It's not necessary that you start with ginger and then the garlic. That's my garlic. And then uh, I have my coriander. Any measurements that uh, you're comfortable with it, you can be able to put it. I like this uh, size. This is my coriander. And then the paprika. Ingredient you can be able to get them in any store that is around you and then cumin cumin has a nice nice taste in the kitchen in the chicken You can be able to try it Yes, I like it when it's uh much like that. It's really tasting nice. I tell you And then I have my black pepper like that and then now uh, you can mix it the smell the smell it's really really nice <clears throat> and then I'll add my salt and then I'll mix it And then I'll add my soy sauce. For the soy sauce, it gives you a different color on your chicken. Mine is black. That means when my chicken comes out, it will be black in color. I'll add uh, another. I'll, I'll add the soy sauce later after adding my chicken on my ingredients for the soy sauce it gives you this uh, color and this means my chicken will uh, be looking like this the color this color and I love this color it's nice and then uh, lastly uh, lastly I'll be putting my chicken make sure you wash your chicken And make sure you cut your chicken into sizes that uh, you like. Okay, here now I'm going to use my hands. My hands are clean. 
I'm just going to use my hand for the ingredients for me to be able to mix the ingredients well. it well now you see the color of my make sure make sure you mix it well for your ingredients to be all over your chicken and then after this we're going to we're going to leave it for some time you can be able to put it on your fridge for it to be able to marinate for a period of uh, one hour or what you can do another idea is that uh, you can be able to bake your chicken at night and then you marinate it sorry you marinate your chicken at night and leave it for uh, overnight in your fridge for the marination to take place okay i'll add the soy sauce again just a little bit I'll continue mixing uh, my chicken. Wow. I like the color. The color that is bringing nice okay i'm done with mixing everything now i'll uh, i'll put it on uh, the fridge for a period of one hour for the marination and then after that i'll be baking it as you can see my chicken is now ready I've marinated it for a period of one hour. You can be able to put it on a fridge, and uh, if you don't have pre fridge, there's no problem. You can be able to put it uh, somewhere. Make sure you just cover it on top, and then uh, you put it for a period of uh, one hour and a half if it's not on the fridge. Now, after here, I have my tray here. I'll apply oil on the tray first, and then I put the foil so that uh, when I'll be removing my foil, it does not stick on my tray if you have a brush well and good I'm not seeing my brush where I kept it make sure you apply some oil my hands is clean I'm just going to rub it And then I have my foil here. I cover it with the foil. And then uh, you'll just add some uh, little oil, the cooking oil, on top of the foil for uh, the chicken not to be able to stick on it. Remember we are baking it, we don't need much oil on our chicken. I want to arrange my chicken.
I'm done arranging my chicken. As you can see, my chicken is now ready. I want to preheat my oven for a period of 10 minutes and then after that we'll be able to set the, the chicken for a period of one hour. And then uh, our chicken will be ready. I have preheated my oven for a period of uh, 10 minutes. Now I'm going to put it on the oven. I'll check on it after 45 minutes. For it, for uh, after 45 minutes, I'll be able to check it and then uh, I'll be able to turn it for the other side to also be able to cook. Exactly 45 minutes. And as you can see, this side is already cooked. Now I want to turn it to the other side for this side also be able to cook. Now I'll turn it. I'm done turning it. Now I want to put it again on the oven for another period of uh, 30 minutes to 40 minutes and then our chicken will be ready ready. Our one hour 30 minutes it's uh, over. And uh, as you can see our chicken is now ready. I want us to taste one. Our chicken is very, very ready. Mm. And the spices. I'm able to. All the spices here, I'm able to test them. It's very, very sweet. You can be able to try the recipe at your home and you will like it. Thank you for watching. Till next time, kindly do not to do not forget to subscribe and uh, thumbs up, thumbs up. Bye.